Giles White. So, be interesting to see who Hampshire appoint there. Big new position. Indeed. Tony, thanks very much. On to the weather. Sarah Farmer's here. Who turned the dial down on the temperature then? Goodness. I got us frozen this morning. Ooh. I went out and about and I've not really warmed up since. It's my feet. Never quite get my feet back to being <laughs> warm. Yes, we've had really chilly conditions, haven't we? But we've had some gorgeous weather pictures and this picturesque start to the day. I hope Steve Hogan was wrapped up warm. A stunning view from Christchurch this morning. Autumn sunshine on the leaves in Hythe. Penny Wade, thank you. Cloudier skies at Langston Harbour, thanks to Dieter Valerius. And we did see some cloudy skies at times today, but there were some bright and sunny breaks. And even into the evening period, we did start to see a few more glimmers of sunshine as that sun set. This is one of our Weather Watchers photographs from Barton-on-Sea. Thanks to Teggy for sending that one in. You can see the cloud breaking in this scene here. Tomorrow, well, it looks like we'll have a bit of a chilly start to the day, but good news because those temperatures are on the turn. And you can see from this graphic here, the blue we are firmly in the blue area for tonight so it's going to be another cold one but watch as we go into Wednesday we start to see that yellow bleeding in and we will have some milder conditions to look forward to during the day on Wednesday. Overnight tonight then, well, we will have quite clear skies through much of our region. There'll be some pockets of mist and fog perhaps in one or two spots. Not ruling out the chance of catching a shower. The most predominant area to see those showers is along the coast and for the Isle of Wight. A bit more cloud here. That's why we've got these temperatures. Quite a contrast. Six overnight lows for the Isle of Wight. Further north, we're looking at lows of minus two or minus three. And perhaps some of our frost hollows could well see minus four or minus five. So a chilly start to the day for Wednesday then and it looks like we'll have one or two showers early on but much of the day will be dry. There'll be some good bright and sunny intervals. Temperatures through the day on Wednesday up to 12 or 13 degrees so feeling milder than the last couple of days. Now your inshore waters for tomorrow. The winds will be southeast four or five, becoming variable three or four, then becoming northwest five or six later. And the sea state will be slight, occasionally moderate at first. On into tomorrow evening and we start to introduce an area of wet weather from the southeast and that's going to bring us some persistent rain that will be with us on into the day for Thursday itself. Take a look at those temperatures, the overnight low 6 or 7. So for Thursday that area of wet weather is pretty slow to clear to be honest. Behind it we'll see cloudy skies before it starts to brighten up. So some sunnier skies to wrap things up as we go on into the afternoon. So taking a look ahead we have got some unsettled conditions conditions to come as we work our way towards the weekend, but at least those temperatures are recovering a little bit.